Good morning and welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist for Saturday of the 12th week in Ordinary Time here in the Chapel of St. Elizabeth of Hungary at the parish of St. Monica, St. Stephen of Hungary, and St. Elizabeth of Hungary in the Yorkville section of Manhattan. Today we gather together not in our parish church, but we are at home watching Mass on television and looking forward to the day when we will be able to worship together again in church. And hopefully that will be sometime soon. Yes, we are separated physically from one another. But let us not forget that we are part of one church community and we do belong to one parish family. Jesus continues his ministry of healing by restoring to health a centurion's servant and Peter's mother-in-law. Matthew wants us to recognize that Jesus' life and ministry is the fulfillment of the vision of Israel's ancient prophets. Our Mass today is offered for Anna Cora, and we lift her up in prayer to the Lord. Our celebration will begin in a few moments. Again, thank you so much for joining us in worship this day. Judah. 
He is brought to the ground in dishonor, her kings and her king and her princes. On the ground in silence sit the old men of daughter Zion. They strew dust on their heads and gird themselves with sackcloth. The maidens of Jerusalem bow their heads to the ground. Worn out from weeping are my eyes. Within me all is in ferment. My gall is poured out on the ground because of the downfall of the daughter of my people. As child and infant faint away in the open spaces of the town. In vain they ask their mothers, where is the grain? As they faint away like the wounded in the streets of the city and breathe their last in their mother's arms. To what can I liken or compare you, O daughter Jerusalem? What example can I show you for your comfort, virgin daughter Zion? For great as the sea is your downfall, who can heal you? Your prophets had for you false and specious visions. They did not lay bare your guilt to avert your fate. They beheld for you in vision false and misleading portents. Cry out to the Lord, moan, O daughter Zion. Let your tears flow like a torrent day and night. Let there be no respite for you, no repose for your eyes. Rise up, shrill in the night, at the beginning of every watch. Pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. Lift up your hands to him for the lives of your little ones who faint from hunger at the corner of every street. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks be to God.
shall be healed. Again, that prayer we say just moments before we receive Jesus in the Eucharist. And that true is a prayer of faith, isn't it? Because when the priest or the deacon or the Eucharistic minister holds the host in front of us and says the body of Christ in faith, we say amen. Because we believe that this is Jesus. As we learned in the old Baltimore Catechism, it is the body, the blood, the soul, the divinity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ comes to us under the simple appearances of bread and wine, to touch us, to heal us, to make us whole, so that we can become holy. I certainly understand how difficult it has been for you, who have not been able to receive the Eucharist as regularly as you do who make a spiritual communion when you watch the Mass on TV. Yet that too is a prayer of faith. Because even though Jesus isn't with us in this unique way in the Eucharist, Jesus is still with us. Jesus still wants to make us whole. He wants to touch us. He wants to heal us. We look forward to the day when we will be able to receive the Lord in the Eucharist again. But until that day comes, we can still pray, Lord, I am not worthy that you can come to me, that you can be a part of my life. But only say your word. Only say your healing word. And indeed, we shall be healed. May God be with you. We pour out our hearts in the presence of the Lord as we offer our prayers today. That the church may grow in number, holiness, and faith through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those in authority may be led by the word of God in the use of their power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all who are ill and infirm or suffering from any poverty or deprivation may receive the healing power of Christ and the consolation of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us gathered here today may grow in the peace and love of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, especially Anna Cora, may enjoy eternal rest in Christ's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those needs and intentions that we hold in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear the prayers we bring before you today and grant them in your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The Lord is the Lord of 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 the it is truly right and just, our duty, and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with all of the angels and saints, we praise your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Welcome them into the light of your face, 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Monica, St. Elizabeth of Hungary, St. Stephen of Hungary, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us pray. O God, from whom we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of your heavenly healing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.